welcome you all to another interesting program on Guru Gedara. Today, I have Miss Niranji with me. Hello, Miss Niranji. How are you? Hello, Miss Watsala. I'm fine, thank you. Hello, children. And good day to you. Hope you're happy and safe. Uh, can you guess what we are going to do today? Right. I know what you are going to learn. And children, you already have learned passive voice. You learned passive voice, present tense, past tense and future tense with us. All, all of us taught you. And this is the end of the lesson, right? This is a summary of that lesson, right? We are going to revise you the present tense, past tense and future tense of passive voice. Right. When you write sentences in passive voice, what are the things that you should know? There are three basic things that you have to keep in mind. What are they? Let's see what they are. The first thing is subject and object pronouns. Yes, you have to know the subject and object pronouns. Then you have to know past participle forms of verbs. And then you have to know forms of the be verb. Yes, form of, forms of the verb be. That is the most important thing. Okay, children? Right. Then we'll move on to see what the subject and object pronouns are. I, I becomes me. We, us, you. You, it does not change. He, him. She, her. It, it, again it does not change. They, them. Right. Again, I, me, we, us. You, does not change. He, him. She, her. It, does not change. They, to them. Okay. Then, the past participle form of verbs. Remember children, we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. In regular verbs, we have ed added to form the past participle. But in irregular verbs, new word comes. Okay? Right, we'll check. Work. Worked. Repair. Repaired. Play. Played. Wash. Washed. Paint, painted, read, read. Remember children, the same spellings but different pronunciation when it comes to past participle form. Read becomes read. Sing, sung, sell, sold, send, sent, break, broken, give, given, Write, written, buy, bought. Right. Those things, the, the past participle forms should be remembered by you. You have to buy heart it. Okay, children? Then we'll move on to forms of the verb be. Right. In the simple present tense, what are the forms of verb be? Let's see. Is, am and are. Yes, is, am and are in the simple present tense. Then simple past tense. In simple past tense we have was and were. Right. In simple future tense we have be with will. will. Right. In simple present tense we have is, am, are. Is with singular, are with plural. In the simple past, we have was and were, was with singular, were with plural. In simple future tense, with both singular and plural, we will use be and with the word will. Will and be goes together. Right. Then for a small example, here you can see there are sentences in all the three tenses. And remember children, in passive voice, we can leave out the doer or the agent. Right? It does not make any difference or 
we, we can have the complete meaning even without the agent of the sentence in the passive voice. Okay. Uh, in simple present tense, the active voice sentence is the factory workers test the products. Yes. So, when it comes to the passive voice, without the agent, we can say the products are tested. The products, plural. So, the B verb we used here is are tested. Then, with the agent, we can say the products are tested by the factory workers. Yes, the products are tested by the factory workers. Then, we will move on to simple past tense. An interior design company renovated our facilities last month. So, how can we have it in the passive voice without the agent? Our facilities were renovated last month. Yes, there again we have the plural noun, our facilities. The subject is in the plural, so we have to use were. Then with the agent, our facilities were renovated last month by an interior design company. Then simple future tense, everyone will exchange gifts at Christmas. Then without the agent, gifts will be exchanged at Christmas. Yes, gifts will be exchanged at Christmas. Then with the agent, gifts will be exchanged at Christmas by everyone. Yes, gifts will be exchanged at Christmas by everyone. Okay, then the structure of the sentence with the agent. We have subject B, then the past participle of the main verb by and the agent. Okay, subject B, past participle of the main verb by and agent. An example, the welcome speech was delivered by the principal. The yes. welcome speech was delivered by the principal. Yes, the welcome speech, the subject, the be verb was, past participle form of the main verb delivered by the agent, the principal. Okay, children? Right. Then without the agent, structure of the sentence, without the agent, then we have subject, be verb and the past participle of the main verb. Yes, Miss Niranji, will you read the example? The welcome speech was delivered. Yes, the welcome speech was delivered. Now, even without the agent, we have a complete sentence, a, mean, a sentence with a complete meaning. Okay? Now, the welcome speech, it is singular, so the be verb is was. Okay. Then, I want to give you a small tip to make passive voice easier. Now, I have three words, he, paint, picture. So, let us see what the tip is. Now, when you look at the screen children, I have used these three words in so many sentences. Right, simple present tense, simple past tense, in simple future tense, in singular and plural forms, both in active and in passive voice. Shall we read the sentences, Miss Niranji? Right, simple present singular sentence, children. He paints a picture. Should I read the passive voice as well? I will read the passive voice. Right. Then. A picture is painted. Okay. Simple present plural one, he paints pictures. 
pictures are painted simple past singular he painted a picture a picture was painted simple past plural he painted pictures pictures were painted then you have simple future singular we he will paint a picture a picture will be painted simple future plural he will paint pictures pictures will be painted now when you look at the last two sentences in the passive voice you find the same sentence a picture will be painted pictures will be painted only the letter a is missing in the second sentence the plural one but the b verb hasn't changed the b verb hasn't changed so when you look at the passive voice sentences children focus your attention to the words in red i have marked the b verbs in red and all the other words in purple so when you look at the uh, screen you will find only the words in red have changed all the other words remain the same in the first one a picture painted pictures painted a picture painted pictures painted a picture painted pictures painted what is changed only the b verb that is why at the beginning i told you it is the most important thing isn't that so miss niranji yes so in the passive voice even though our children say it's difficult it's, it's not difficult it's not difficult it's really easy because they only have to remember the sentence structure and the b verb according to the tense and the number that is whether the sentence is singular or plural so according to that the b verb changes the rest of the sentence remains the same i think our children uh, will not say that passive voice is difficult hereafter isn't that so miss niranji yes it will be very easy for them yes and example yes you can see a picture a girl with a piano yes a girl with a piano the girl play piano every day yes with that we will make a sentence we will construct a sentence in the simple present tense we have the piano is played by the girl every day yes the piano is played by the girl every day then in the simple past tense we have the piano was played by the girl every day and in the simple future we have the piano will be played by the girl every day yes here also you can see if you look at it children uh, only the b verb is changed okay then without the agent the same sentence okay simple present tense miss the niranji the piano is played every day can you repeat the piano is played every day yes simple past the piano was played every day simple future the piano will be played every day yes here also you can see only the b verb is changed the rest remains the same okay with the agent and without the agent okay another example many foreign tourists visit taj mahal yes simple present tense the taj mahal is visited by many foreign tourists simple past the taj mahal was visited by many foreign tourists simple future the taj mahal will be visited by many foreign tourists yes here also only the b verb is changed okay children now here we have uh, the sentences with the agent okay to make sentences use simple present simple past and simple future tense passive voice okay make sentences sim use simple present simple past and simple future tense passive voice you can see a bus and a man 
he drive bus yes simple present tense the bus is driven by him simple past the bus was driven by him simple future the bus will be driven by him yes and then the guard close the door 7 pm the guard close the door 7 pm right the simple present tense the door is closed by the guard at 7 pm then simple past we have the door was closed by the guard at 7 pm and simple future we have the door will be closed by the guard at 7 pm okay right the same sentence the guard closed the door 7 pm yes the door is closed at 7 pm that is simple present tense and simple past tense the door was closed at 7 pm and simple future tense the door will be closed at 7 pm yes with the agent and without the agent whatever it is only the be verb changes according to the tense right another example the carpenters make the roof the carpenters make the roof simple present tense the roof is made by the carpenters simple past we have the roof was made by the carpenters simple future the roof will be made by the carpenters right and make passive voice sentences using the words and given tense the words are given and the tense is given what you have to do is you have to make sentences in the passive voice with the given tense first one the cows feed every morning within brackets you have the tense simple present so how can we make the sentence the cows are fed every morning yes the cows are fed every morning how can we say that this is in the simple present tense by looking at the verb yes by looking at the be verb right we have the past participle form of the main verb then the novel write centuries ago within brackets you have simple past so what is the sentence that you are going to write the novel was written centuries ago yes the be verb was indicates the past tense. tense the past tense the assignment complete brother next week simple future tense so how are we going to write the sentence the assignment will be completed by my brother next week right breakfast serve from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. simple present tense breakfast is served from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. the package send my uncle simple past the package was sent by my uncle right then turn the following active voice sentences to passive voice they are uh, what you have to do children is to write the sentences with the agent and without the agent in both ways right my mother cooks our meals every day so what is the tense there my mother cooks present tense yes simple present tense so when it is turned into passive voice how are we going to write our meals are cooked by my mother every day yes our meals are cooked by my mother every day and also we can say our meals are cooked every day without having the agent leaving aside by my mother right the second one the police arrested the thief the tense there is past tense simple past simple past 
the police arrested the thief then the thief was arrested by the police the thief was arrested by the police thief singular so was is used and then without the agent we can say the thief was arrested yes leaving aside by the police even without by the police those three words we have a sentence with complete meaning then my sister waters the plants every morning my sister waters the plants every morning what is the tense there miss niranji simple present yes simple present the plants are watered by my sister every morning yes the plants are watered by my sister every morning or we can simply say the plants are watered without writing by my sister every morning okay right my my brother made these vesak lanterns yesterday yes my brother made these vesak lanterns yesterday yesterday and made indicates that it's belonging to the past so past tense what is the past tense verb you are going to use the past tense be verb you are going to use These vesak lanterns were made by my brother yesterday. Yes, these vesak lanterns plural. So we have to use were. Right? Then these vesak lanterns were made. Right? Without mentioning when and by whom. Okay? Right. Then in our lesson today you all have revised we have revised you what we have done with you with so many lessons in so many lessons we have done separately the simple future tense simple past tense and simple future tense passive voice so a quick recap what should we remember yes we have to remember the subject and object pronouns and then the past participle forms of the verbs and then we have to remember the forms of the verb be okay children so in future i hope you won't say that passive voice is really difficult this is really the easiest so until we meet again in another day with another interesting english lesson Miss Niranji yes children you can watch our guru gedra programs on channel i and if you feel like watching them again and again you always can log on to youtube channel that is channel nie and watch them again and again so until we meet again goodbye children goodbye children